Hello children and welcome to my channel Madhvi Sharma online teaching and travel vlogs. And how is your preparation going on for the board exams 2024? I hope it is all fine or koi zyada problems nahi hai. Agar hai to please start studying right now only before it is too late. This video I will be sharing with you solutions of biology 2024 specimen paper full paper actually yes section A and section B so without wasting time let's start okay children so ICSE 2024 examination specimen question paper biology that is science paper 3 all this you guys are good in it. Let's start immediately. Okay. Section A. I have already solved this with my students. As you all know, I teach. I am from Pune and I am uh, giving tuition. So this I have already solved it with my students just today. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead. Choose the correct answers. MCQs for 15 marks. Loss of water as droplets from the hydathodes is of course gutation yes droplets hydathodes leaf margins gutation gutation for your information is also called as exudation so children if exudation also comes in the paper please take that okay gutation and exudation means one and the same thing if water vapor comes, loss in the form of water vapor, then it is transpiration from injury or cut plant. Yes, then it is bleeding or from the surface that it is evaporation. But right now it is as droplets. So it will be gutation or exudation. Second one, the synthesis phase in the cell cycle is called so because of the synthesis of more DNA. Full form of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Yes, and RNA is only ribonucleic acid. Okay, just for information. Let's go to the third one. While playing with his friends, Peter inserted a stick into his ear. He lost his hearing due to rupture of eardrum. Scientific name of eardrum is tympanum. Yes. Okay. So anything can come. Pericardium is related to heart. Cornea is related to eyes. And pinna is also ears but external ear. Ye jo bahar dikhai deta hai. Yes. That is external ear. So it has nothing to do with the rupture. So answer is eardrum or tympanum. Let's go to the next. The prime source of chlorofluorocarbon which is also called as CFC is refrigeration equipment. Vehicular emissions is CO, sewage is water, effluence is also water. Oxygenated blood to the heart is supplied by coronary artery. As we all know, hepatic is related to liver, coronary is to the heart and renal is to the kidney and pulmonary is to the lungs. Yes? Then, so answer for this is heart, that is coronary artery. Assertion, there is frequent urination in summer than in winter. Mm -hmm. No, false. Because summer we sweat a lot, so there is less urination. So A is false. In summer we lose a lot of water as sweat. True. So the kidneys reabsorb more water. True. Hence urine formed is less in summer than in winter. True. Answer A is false and reason is true. The age restrictions for marriage for boys and girls by law in India is... Boys is 21 and girls is 18. Hari is fond of watching fish in an aquarium. So he set up an aquarium in his house. Along with a number of freshwater fish, he also placed a 
clown fish which is a salt water fish yes salt water fish clown fish has a lot of salt on it after few hours the clown fish was found dead and floating on the water because of endosmosis yes water from higher concentration that is water in the aquarium came into the clown fish's body because it had less water all right the solvent used for dissolving chlorophyll while testing a leak for starch is ethyl alcohol basically it is a spirit okay it has to be some spirit methylated spirit or it can be ethylated spirit spirit means alcohol the structure related to storage and maturation of sperms in a human male is epididymis definitely epidermis is related to the stomata yes the root hair epithelium is skin and endothelium is inside part of the skin so maturation of sperms is epididymis the sequence of dna has 200 nitrogenous base pairs out of which 100 are thymine and adenine pairs so the number of cytosine and guanine pairs will also be 100 there are four nitrogenous bases thymine adenine which are in pairs and cytosine guanine which are also in pairs definitely it will be 100 100 the stress hormone in plants which functions during the drought is of course abscisic acid as it inhibits growth auxins is for phototropism for shoot and geotropism and hydrotropism for roots ethylene promotes fruit ripening the only gaseous plant hormone cytokinins it stimulates cell division cytokinin cyto mitosis in mitosis yes it promotes seed germination the next one compressed natural gas cng is a better alternative fuel to fossil fuel definitely it leaves little or no residue and easily available all right it does have carbon in it so absence of carbon nahi hoga so only p and r yes the ground substance for present in chloroplasts is stroma yes or also called as matrix yes dono mein se kuch bhi aaya please for the ground substance lata wanted to cross the road she looked on either side of the road and then walked across to the other side of the road which of the following is or are involved in the process described above cerebrum cerebellum skeletal muscle these three cerebrum to see which one is correct cerebellum for coordination of left and right skeletal muscles for movement so answer is d only 1 2 and 3 okay so i think we are done with the mcqs we start with question number 2 name the following respiratory pigment in erythrocytes erythrocytes means rbc has to be hemoglobin the tissue that transports manufactured food from the leaves to all parts of the plant phloem remember food phloem f f yes the type of gene which is presence of contrasting allele is not expressed has to be recessive the duct which carries urine from the urinary bladder to outside the body urethra collective term for protective membranes of the brain is meninges yes dap dap do you remember dap yes no. d a p yes okay dura mater arachnoid and pia mater dap this is how we remember d a p arrange the logical sequence and start with the term that is underlined grass then eaten by grasshopper eaten by frog eaten by snake pinna the outside part pinna then malleus then stapes then cochlea inner ear yeah pinna is external malleus and stapes are middle ear and then cochlea 
platelets platelets is clotting of blood and injury and prothrombin converted into thrombin so platelets thrombin fibrinogen and then fibrin yes i was explaining today only to children that platelets that is the thrombocytes okay they are activated the thrombokinase the factor x it gets activated with a cut with an injury and it converts prothrombin into thrombin yes that thrombin then converts the in the soluble fibrinogen into fibrin which is soluble and it is a fibrin that forms a mesh yes the clot which will not allow the cells to come out i repeat platelets thrombin fibrinogen and fibrin next is the epidermis then the cortex then the endodermis and the xylem from the absorption of roots chapter epidermis is outside then comes the cortex remember cortex and medulla are common terms in biology the outside is called cortex the inside is called medulla you see this in kidneys also yes same thing is in plants so epidermis is the outside skin from where the root hair extensions come then comes the cortex then comes the inside skin that is the endodermis dermis skin and then comes the xylem this i think is wrong because the starting is embryo i wouldn't start with that i would start with morula and then comes the blastocyst then comes the embryo and then comes the fetus if you see this i have written an extra okay just for all of you first it starts with the egg that is ovum then it goes as a zygot that is after fertilization then morula that is around 16 cells then blastocyst the, it is the blastocyst which is implanted fixed in the placenta then comes the embryo that is a developing embryo then the legs and the arms start coming out that is fetus and of course then the infant question number 3 the technical term for short sightedness is myopia this defect is caused because the eyeball is lengthened from front to back or the lens is too curved it can be corrected by using suitable concave lens the power of the lens is mentioned in minus the odd one out definitely electric bulbs all others are biodegradable waste renal artery renal artery is a part of circulatory system all others pelvis cortex medulla we just had a talk yes renal means kidney so pelvis cortex medulla are parts of kidney eurochrome urea creatinine or creatine rather not creatinine sorry eurochrome urea creatine creatine and uric acid creatine is outside yes the calcium part the integumentary system all others are constituents of urine or you can say waste yeah waste eliminated by the body nitrogenous waste anything you can write all window cochlear auditory canal round window definitely auditory canal which is a part of external ear all others are part of internal ear though oval window and round window they connect the middle ear and inner ear all right nadp of course nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate is a plant hormone and all others are human hormone adh anti diuretic hormone tsh thyroid stimulating hormone acth adrenocorticotropic hormone all right let's go ahead okay match the column the last in section a spinal cord is neurons it's a part of the nervous system has to be neurons adrenal medulla is adrenaline uh, this is the adrenal gland endocrine gland number of autosomes in man has to be 44 because the 45 and 46 will be the gamete sperms yes kidney is nephrons adrenal cortex is cortisol 
With that, we finish off with section A. Let's start with section B without wasting time. Question number three. The gene of red hair is recessive to the gene for black hair. So black hair is dominant and red hair is recessive, right? What will be the hair of the color of the person if he inherits a gene for red hair from his mother and a gene for black hair from his father? Definitely black due to law of dominance. State the law of dominance, of course. It's a little bit messy. You can check from your book also. But just for your info, I've written out here, out of the pair of contrasting characters present together, only one is able to express itself while the other remains suppressed. That which express is dominant character. Unexpressed is recessive. What are homologous chromosomes? A pair of corresponding chromosomes of the same shape and size from each parent. Phenotype and genotype. Phenotype is expressed and genetically controlled also. Whereas genotype is combination of genes in an organism. And phenotype, the monohybrid ratio is 3 is to 1. And genotype is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Neat label diagram of a duplicated chromosome. You can see mitosis, the prophase diagram, or something like this you have to draw. You have to mention sister chromatids. You have to mention the centromere because it's for three months. Question number four. Uh, exact location of corpus callosum. It's a sheet of fibers at the center of the brain connecting two cerebral hemispheres of the brain. Please write cerebral hemispheres. Please do not write only hemispheres. Hemispheres kisi ke bhi ho sakte hai children. It has to be cerebral hemispheres. Yes. As a bio teacher, if I see, you can't miss out those biological terms. All right. Two hormones secreted by corpus luteum is progesterone and estrogen. Yes, differentiate between menarche and menopause. I've written here, there was no space. Menarche is onset of menstrual cycle or menstruation in young females around the age of 13. Whereas menopause, pause, pause, stop, is permanent stoppage of menstruation in females around 45 years. Liber, the significance of placenta in the growth of fetus. Placenta, disc-like structures, those interlocking villi. Remember? Yeah, the diagram. So, placenta is a disc-like structure attached to the uterine wall or endometrium, connecting the mother and the growing or developing embryo. It helps in diffusion of gases and substances from mother to developing embryo and vice versa. Like oxygen, nutrients, vitamins, medicines, all these coming from mother to fetus and carbon dioxide and other waste from nitrogenous waste that is from fetus to mother. Uh, or kya hai? Label diagram of human gamut that has sex chromosome Y. Please draw a sperm. And it's a three mark diagram. So you have to draw all the three parts. Yes, that is acrosomal cap, the nucleus, the head part, the mid piece, the mitochondria and the tail, lashy movements of the tail. Yes. Let's go to question number five. Again, 10 marks. Very easy. Photosynthesis, life process. Plants manufacture their own food from carbon dioxide and water with the help of chlorophyll and sunlight. And overall chemical equation is this. Yeah, I think I've given a mistake this summer. I think it, I have to write 6H2O. Yes. And 6H2O and 6O2. Correct. Now it is good. Yeah, completed. Right, an overall chemical equation of photosynthesis. Oh, I just mentioned it. A potted plant having variegated leaves was exposed to sunlight for three hours. One of the leaves was plucked and tested for starch. What will you observe after the starch test? Green parts will turn blue-black and non-green parts will turn brown.
so example of variegated leaves children variegated leaves is green and non green together so that is croton and i think it is coleus yes croton i think is white and green and coleus is pink and green the initial the initial food prepared by green plant is a which is later converted to food b by polymerization name the food a glucose definitely we all see here and food b is starch yes polymerization study the diagram below and ask the following question name the gas released oxygen example of an aquatic plant that can be used there are three plants children valisteria you studied i think last year hydrilla and elodia now what will happen if a pinch of sodium bicarbonate is added to water sodium bicarbonate and a hco3 remember this when you add to water it will release co2 and if more co2 more oxygen gas why because the rate of photosynthesis will increase yep question number 6 exact location of genes they are located on dna segments on the of the chromosomes yes differentiate between karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyo karyo means nucleus kinesis is division so karyokinesis is division of the nucleus of course with changes in the nucleus whereas division of cytoplasm changes in the cytoplasm is cytokinesis there's one more you can write here because it is of two marks you can say karyokinesis duplication of chromosomes take place sorry and in cytokinesis duplication of other cell organelles take place all right okay mention organelles mitochondria and all okay question number 3 mention two significant features of the stage anaphase during mitosis of course the two sister chromatids separate yes and they are drawn apart towards the opposite poles and a furrow starts at the center animal cell in the animal cell how many daughter cells are formed at the end of mitosis and meiosis mitosis is two that is diploid meiosis is four that is haploid that is in mitosis the original number of the chromosomes is restored it is 2n correct and in meiosis it is n it is half the half okay let's go to the next one question number 5 oh it's so easy name the phenomena depicted phototropism photon light sunlight phototropism hormone playing is auxins auxins exhibit growth yes one stimulus which gives positive response for roots but negative response for shoot has to be geotropism children yes geo towards the earth it has to be positive for the roots Question number 7 children okay is based on evolution of man and i have just written this extra yes this is how i teach my students a h h c uh, sorry a h h n c m yes australopithecus if you do not know or if it is difficult for you to pronounce split it yes australopithecus homo habilis homo erectus a h h neanderthals yes neanderthals cro-magnon and modern man the cro-magnon itself tells us it is about for man magnon yes anyway let's go to the questions question number 1 scientific name for man homo sapiens what are vestigial organs give an example these are the organs which are no longer used and are non functional of course due to evolution of man yes these are reduced and modified versions of the ancestral organs for example wisdom teeth yes no use vermiform appendix you can say appendix yes it's in form of a worm chotu sa on the right side of the intestines and so worm form appendix and pinna hamare jo external ears hai uska koi kaam nahi hai yes in dogs cats and all you can see their movement they move here and there but in humans they don't and that's why it's one of the vestigial organ
state two structural differences between arteries and veins artery has a narrow lumen and thick muscular walls it does not have any valves artery may valves nahi hote hai yes whereas veins has a wide lumen please see the diagram children thick muscular walls and it has valves two features of cro-magnon oh we were just talking about the cro-magnon yes first early humans rounded skull with near vertical forehead prominent chin large bro ridge and yes no prominent prognathism of face and jaws that is prognathism means the jaws usually in the earlier ones okay they, it used to it was protruding but not now no more all right and the Cro-Magnon one is, which I have not written here, as I just said, it has uh, the Foramen Magnon uh, thing, uh, the hole for spinal cord to go. Yep. Study the picture and uh, answer the questions that follow. Let's see. Okay. Category of waste, medical waste, or rather you can say biomedical waste. Yes. You can write biomedical also. It is biomedical. And give an example of such a waste. Used needles, syringes, injection, surgical gloves, dirty dressing. Yes, the dressing part. Are they hazardous? Of course, yes. Give suitable reason. Oh, these chemicals reach the soil and harm the crops. Ultimately, they reach the humans also. Yes, it's a chemical. Uh, define osmosis. Okay, now here you have to be careful. Movement of water molecules from a region of their higher concentration. Remember, when water is in higher concentration, it's a dilute solution. To lower concentration of water, water, water. Yes, which is a concentrated solution through a semi-permeable membrane. Children just mug up from the textbook, children. It's very easy. Name the two sensory cells of the retina. Rods, of course, for dim light. Cones is for color. Also, rods, you must know this. No need to write for this answer. But it is rhodopsin. Yes, the pigment is rhodopsin. Yes. And for cones is iodopsin. I'm sure quite a few of you are answering before I write also. One function each, cerebrum and cerebellum. Cerebrum, seat of intelligence, reading, thinking, yep, memory, yeah. Cerebellum, body balance and muscular coordination. Children, please, please, please study this word to word from your textbook. Two objectives of Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, we all know this by now, create an awareness among communities towards sanitation and cleanliness, motivating, of course, these communities for adopting a proper sanitation model for better health. Yes, you can write anything from your textbook. Don't worry. I think this is the last question because it's question eight. Given below is a diagram of a human blood smear answer the following questions. Let's first see what these things are. Number one is RBC or erythrocytes. Number two is WBC or leukocytes. Number three is platelets or thrombocytes. And number four is plasma. Yes. Now let us see structural difference between one and two. Yes. So one is RBC erythrocytes by concave in shape. And of course, two is WBC leukocytes amoeboid shape. Yes, remember phagocytosis? Yes, diapetosis and phagocytosis. Okay, three is a function of part three. So three is thrombocytes, that is platelets. Definitely clotting of blood in case of injury and thus prevents excessive bleeding. Yes, name the part label four. Blood plasma. Done. So children, I hope that was useful for you. I have posted uh, specimen papers of 2023 also on my channel. Children, please go through them. Okay, the question papers are not same. Okay, it will really, really help you. 2024, I have posted here. And there are audiobooks of Hindi and English on my channel. 
listen 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 okay it will reduce a lot of your work i am sure about it children and do share with your friends listen to audio books listen to hindi and english and some uh, maths i have made easy some science basics also all right thank you very much and wish you all the best thank you children thank you thank you god bless you god bless you subscribe to my channel